You're listening to Devil in the Detail and this is your Big Match Review. Well, I've just arrived in St. Helens for tonight's match between Salford Red Devils and the Saints. Uh, Salford line up as follows. Gareth O'Brien's at full-back. Justin Carnett is on the wing. Junior Sout and Nia Levels are the centres. Daniel Vido is on the other wing. Robert Lewis and Michael Dobson are the halves. Craig Kopjack and Logan Tompkins and George Griffin make up the front row. It's Josh Jones and Ben murdoch Masilla in the back row. And Ryan Lannan is loose forward. There's no uh, Matt Flanagan tonight. He's not in the squad. On the bench for Salford, it's Wella Haraki, Adam Wall, Olsey Krasniki and Phil Joseph. St. Helens line up with Johnny Lomax, Adam Swift, Matty Dawson, Matt Percival, Jack Owens, Theo Farge, Luke Walsh, Lamataza, James Roby, Kyle Amor, Don Peru, John Wilkie, Louis McCarthy, Scarsbrook, Alex Wormsley, Attila Vey, Andre Savellio and Morgan Knowles. It's uh, about an hour to kick off here in, in St. Helens. Massive game for Salford. Yet to win here since uh, 1980. So it's been a long while. So I'm hoping I'm going to see a bit of history tonight uh, in the making. So uh, yeah, St. Helens and Salford, 8 o'clock kickoff. It's half time at Langtree Park. Salford are trailing by 16 points to 8. We got off to a good start when Nine Level scored in the corner to put us 4 0 up. It was a good move from Salford from left to right and a try, a good try, a good finish from Evels to get down low and get the try. Uh, Louis McCarthy Scarsbrook got, the, got a score for St. Helens. It was a lovely drop off pass from uh, ex Salford player Theo Farge. Um, Luke Walsh has kicked the goal to put Saints in front at 6 points to 4. Then Saints have gone ahead again to 10 4 with a try from, uh, from Matt Percival in the corner. And then they've extended the lead to 16 points to four with a dominant Peru try. A lot of mistakes from both sides, really. A bit, a bit scrappy. It's a perfect night, dry conditions, great conditions. And there's been a lot of, uh, lot of knock ons. Been a lot of penalties conceded as well from both teams. A bit, a bit, like I said, a bit scrappy. But 16 4 down. So for then, uh, right on half time, as, as the hooter's gone, Ben Merck got Marcellus made a break out of nothing, really, down the right hand side. Found Evels on his shoulder, and Evels has gone into the corner. Evels with pace to burn, as we all know, for his second try of the, afternoon, of the evening. sorry, And then. Uh, O'Brien's missed the kick off the touchline. Both kicks have been quite difficult for him, but he scores back into the game there at 16 points to 8. It's a tough one. Saints are looking good. They're moving the ball well. We've just got to stop that offload, and uh, hopefully in the second half we can uh, defend our line a bit better than we have done in the first half. It's half time at Langtree Park. It's Salford trailing by 16 points to 8. We've had a real fight back here from Salford in the second half. Uh, Saints leading at half time. They scored at the 10 minutes of the second half. Johnny Lomax went in to make it 22 points to 8. Salford looked, you know, looked finished from that point, but it wasn't to be. Carney scored uh, for, for Salford to get it back to 22 14. Then Naya Levels went over uh, to get his hat trick to make it 22 20. And we looked the better side there. We were on top. 
Uh, we made a couple of mistakes in the VO5 has gone down the other end, close to pieces and gone over to make it 28-20. And then uh, Kyle Amor late on has gone over to make it 34-20. So mistakes in the second half. I mean, Michael Dobson tonight has been absolutely fantastic. He's led us round the park. He's really given some of the players around to the kitchen. You know, he's, he's really fired up and he's, he's led like a captain tonight. I thought he was one of the best players on the pitch, Dobson. We just didn't have enough tonight to beat St. Helens. Disappointing, really. Individual errors has cost us again. 34-20 in the final score. It's on to witness next week at the Magic Weekend. Bitterly disappointed tonight we couldn't get a result because I thought St. Helens were off par. They made mistakes as well. But it's finished at Langtree Park. St. Helens 34, Salford 20. You're listening to Devil in the Detail and this is your Big Match Review.